what is lovely inu is it a meme token is it a launch pad or is it a decentralized exchange i'll be reviewing lovely inu inside this video and giving you my thoughts at the end so first let's take a look at their website so top is their mascot which is not doing much for me selling me that this is a meme token and they say little love dream big and they have their tokens contract address they have their socials so uh, i've not i'm not learning a lot about lovely inu when i look at the hero section of their website on the navigation menu i see launchpad protocol and contact us so we'll take a look at that later so they say upcoming listings buybacks listings and so they do a buyback for the listing so it's like manipulating the price <laughs> then they have some links for bsc scan eth okay so they're on to chain which is cool and we obviously know they're on coin market cap and this chart leads to deck source okay so 55 million no sorry 55 trillion <laughs> uh total supply that's not i mean that that just makes me think it's a meme token and they're on these exchanges and let's just double check are they on these exchanges yeah it seems so it mark dodo la token digi phoenix yes so they're on, on a, an impressive amount of uh, centralized exchanges it definitely shows commitment and here are their products so their first product is a swap a see mobile device i don't think it's mobile app though and okay it's fairly basic then you have a wallet and these don't link to anything okay okay because they're still in prototype or they're still in the development stage and already down to the roadmap so they have milestones which is cool they want to go to crypto X expo asia 2022 is impressive and they've already been to dubai expo seems cool and their products have a their own section so they are aiming to launch on polygon solana i thought they're already on ethereum no oh no my mistake they're not on ethereum yet they have a smart contract audit service it's a good utility here uh for something which is coming across just as a meme token i mean are they ever gonna really hit one dollar with 55 million trillion 55 trillion sorry 55 trillion uh tokens uh total supply i don't that would take a lot of money i cannot hit one dollar okay never mind so they have community links for english persian indonesian vietnamese hindi and turkish makes sense and that's it let's take a look at the links inside their navigation menu so i'm gonna head over to their launch pad first see what we have here okay so we have apply to launch which goes to where well, oh it doesn't link to anywhere that's a pity uh, telegram announcement so these things don't link to anything which is a shame but we do have some projects already so they've done a one for lovely swap and they've managed to raise i have no idea <laughs> whatever that amount is in dollars they've also done one for ignite chain it's impressive oh. so they don't just uh they're not just a launch pad for meme tokens they actually do care about uh utility so i like that i notice here the navigation menu now has uh, additional links for the audit service games and the sign in which links to games it's uh i mean i i don't know why they don't link to this on their homepage. i'm good what was already on their homepage? so protocol was here i'm gonna link on their protocol and that says order underscore coming underscore soon okay i didn't read anything about a protocol or a blockchain so i know about that i'm gonna go back here and click on order let's click on swap okay so when i click on swap where am i going to i have no idea where is it leading to swap lovely dot finance it's not loading up i don't know why it could be a vietnam internet thing yeah that's okay i'm not gonna make any judgment on that because i'm not sure why that's not loading up it could just be the internet here in vietnam now let's take a look at games neither is games loading up so maybe it's not a vietnam internet it is down or just me okay so their swap service is down i'm guessing their games is also down so the the game product is also get down. I mean, they could just have like a landing page to say it's in development rather than leaving it empty like that. It is on their, their footer and it doesn't say coming soon. Supposedly they have swap games and just their launch pad seems to be working. So games and swap isn't. Let's click on apply for audit and this goes to Google Forms. I hear 
you have apply for ILO, apply for list, apply for order. Okay, cool. I used to play the swap and the game zone have their own landing page. I'm gonna check out the white paper. It's okay, like they put in the abstract, a little bit of blah blah about blockchain in general, <laughs> but they do describe themselves as uh, something which is generally a mean project, but they do want to deliver utility. I get the impression they do. They have lots of legal statements, which is fine. It's a good thing if they have lots of legal statements. It shows they're serious. Getting their values, which might be interesting. And they put community, transparency, trust, and longevity. And in transparency, they put lovely is decentralized and supported by its community of enthusiasts. We encourage open communication and believe trust transparency okay um i like their tokenomics actually because i like here they actually put down a uh, project budget which is quite an interesting way of describing how you're going to utilize that allocation of the token supply well 30 percent going to marketing i wonder how that will impact the price i, I don't know anything about the team which is a pity like how many people are on the team where are they from what are their backgrounds what have they trained in and do they have work experience what has their work experience been so these are all things which can contribute towards the success of the project i mean and just saying like hey we've invested a hundred thousand dollars worth of personal funds into the project which could be true i definitely know of some projects which attempted to launch and they spent like forty thousand dollars which was quite a common number thankfully i didn't go down that route and that's it their white paper is okay kind of matches up with everything they're communicating except it doesn't really say anything about the games it doesn't talk about the auditing service let's go back to their website let's take a look at their twitter account as their twitter so on their twitter they say british virgin island so i'm assuming they actually have a registered entity in there um i've definitely considered registering an entity in the virgin island but we're starting off with vietnam it's interesting they actually have different profiles for their different product they're really uh, committed and here they have in the uh, in the profile image or whatever it's called i forgot uh they have gaming platform blockchain they don't talk about ah inspector lovely is the audit server we, we haven't learned anything about this blockchain they're planning to run let's take a look when do they register again they registered in may of 2021 let's go back to their first play really because so they're very active on their twitter they do a lot of marketing is that there here it is. So they post a lot of original content and retweet. Okay, so obviously I'm just skimming through, but price action. So I don't see a lot of discussion about utility inside here, but they're very active. They're definitely committed. They're not just working based upon when the market is up. <laughs> what is this? I thought this was a casino game or something. Oh, these are games are going to develop. This is way back in January. That's not good. Like developing these kind of games don't cost much money. Maybe like $10,000, $20,000. Paying for centralized exchange listings costs fifty, a hundred, one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Not happy with that. I don't understand why these crypto projects invest so much money into centralized exchanges over making a natural product. So very active on L Bank. L Bank is uh, forty five thousand dollars. This on them. It's their basic package. Snapchat filter launch. Huh. They're very good at marketing. So recently they were on Fox, CBS, and NBC. Let's take a look at this. Actually, why is this not loading up? Let's try a different link. CBS. CBS will load up in Vietnam for sure. Oh, huh? it's been deleted. Okay, let's try NBC. Again, deleted. So maybe that's a shame. That's not good. Hmm. Okay, what else can we look at? Let's go check their contract and see how their contract performs. First, we're going to take a look at BS check. And for some reason, I can't use BS check. <clears throat> it says this token has less than 10 holders. For sure, it doesn't. They have 96,000 holders. Let's try a token sniff work. So they have 0% tax. <clears throat> Definitely not a honeypot, which is obviously a good sign. Uh, unfortunately, they do have a mint function, which I don't remember them discussing anywhere. We go back to the white paper. Is that mint function? No. So that's not a good sign. I'm not happy with that like they cannot explain anywhere on their white paper or, or website the reason they have a mint function that's not that's not acceptable go back here the creator wallet contains less than five percent but they own 9.56 percent that's a lot um, it's not 
too much. I don't know. Everything else is fine. Yeah, generally speaking, it looks okay. It's not a honeypot. Taxes are low, but this uh, mint function is not a good sign. They can just mint new tokens and then basically dump on you and then they have new cash. <laughs> so about Lovely Inu, I would say that they are more than just a meme token, but they're not really delivering upon what they are promising to do with an acceptable time frame. Like I haven't been following this project for a long time, but in January they could have completed those uh, casino games by now. Like now it's the uh, 21st of August. So it's not really acceptable that it's taken so long to, to finish those games that would have really just cost a few thousand dollars to, to, to have produced. Uh, I don't think it's good they have a mint function. Like I know they have uh, no real issues with their CERTIC order, even though they haven't passed. But they haven't, uh, CERTIC hasn't flagged any major issues. Like what, what is this block protocol? What is the audit? Like all these things they haven't been mentioned inside the white paper. They've said they're going to deliver on it, but I don't find any information to explain what it's all about. Like maybe if it's been discussed, then it's been discussed on one occasion and I can't find it which is not good, should be on the homepage. And they also have a mint function inside their contract. So it's highly unlikely to work, but it's not something I would trade because there's just too many red flags in this side this project. It's not something that's delivering a product or solving people's problems. Uh, I don't think they have a, a long-term lifespan. They seem to be hiding something.